नमस्ते हेलो फ्रेंड्स गुड इवनिंग टू ऑल आई एम वेरी मच एक्साइटेड टू वेलकम यू ऑल टू द फर्स्ट वेबिनार ऑफ वेदांत टॉक्स टुडे बीइंग द यंगेस्ट नेशन इंडिया हैज ड्रीम टू बिकम द डेवलप्ड कंट्री एंड नॉट एंड नॉट ओनली द डेवलप्ड नेशन बट आल्सो अ सुपर पावर the viksit bharat vision has set a target to achieve the goal of being the developed nation by 2047 if you count we have 23 years to achieve the goal if you look at this scenario particularly the human resource who is going to create the long lasting impact while realizing the goal is none other than you all young brilliant champions you all are full of energy zeal and enthusiasm when history will be written your chapter will be written with golden colors in preparation of the same we have gathered here and will be meeting on vedans platforms frequently we have learned from our rigved that आनो बद्रा कृतवो यंतु विश्वतः लेट नोबल थॉट्स कम टू मी फ्रॉम ऑल डायरेक्शंस टुडे इज वन ऑफ सच ब्यूटीफुल ओकेशंस वेयर वी हैव गैदर्ड टू गेट द बेस्ट आइडियाज एंड अपस्किल आरसेल्स फॉर अ गुड करियर अ बेटर लाइफ एंड द बेस्ट नेशन बिल्डिंग इन टुडेस वेदांत टॉक i heartily welcome you all on behalf of the entire team vedant before i introduce you to our esteemed speaker let me share a few instructions which will help you learn in more effective manner the present live page of webinar has a form for raising questions and concerns so if you have questions or if you want to ask questions to the speaker you may fill that form the question should be related to today's topic at the end of expert talk your questions will be answered by our expert while asking question directly focus on question there is no need of mentioning any greetings or salutations keep your question concise and clear by filling the form you can ask one question if you have more than one question you can fill the form again while watching this session on your page if you can't find the form refresh your page once the talk and question answer session are finished refresh the page one more form will appear on your screen this is very important instruction for all the participants kindly not this once the talk and question answer session are finished refresh the page one more form will appear on your screen filling that form is mandatory for all the participants based on that form filling certificate will be issued to you within 7 days you will receive your e certificate by email people who just have registered will not get the certificate but the certificate will be issued to those who fill the form after completion of this session the form would appear on your screen for that you can refresh your page once the talk and question answer session are finished let's get introduced to our today's expert keynote speaker professor dr s sri ranjani madam is the distinguished great grand daughter of the legendary statesman bharat ratna sir moksha gundam vishweswarya she stands as a beacon of academic excellence and societal impact with a career spanning over a decade in teaching and research she has become a driving force in shaping the landscape of management education a seasoned professor of management she has cultivated a wealth of experience 
contributing significantly to the academic community. Beyond her role in the classroom, she has delved into extensive research, exploring the intricate intersections of management theory and real world applications. What sets her apart in not only her academic prowess, but also her linguistic proficiency. As a true thought leader, she has played a crucial role in shaping academic discourse. Actively involved in organizing national and international academic programs, she has provided a platform for intellectual exchange and scholarly collaboration. She is professor of management at BGS B School, Bangalore, and serving as the research supervisor at Mysore University, Karnataka. We heartily welcome you, madam, and we extend notion of thank you for uh, being available to all of us, sharing your kind words and knowledge. Today's talk is on celebrating UGPG period with upskilling. Let's invite Professor Dr. Sri Ranjani to deliver her keynote address. Madam, all yours. Oh, thank you so much, sir, for that uh, wonderful introduction. I hope I'm audible and visible. Uh, yes, sir. Thank you. Just give me a minute's time. Let me share my screen. Uh, sir, hope uh, the PPTs are visible. Yes, it is visible. All right, sir. Thank you so much. A uh, very good evening to everyone. I welcome all of you to this uh, special talk show, Vedant Talks, Empowering Youth for Vikasit Bharat by Vedant Knowledge Systems Private Limited. So our today's topic of discussion is on celebrating UG and PG period with upskilling. Straight away, let's get into the topic. Let us understand what is this uh, buzzword, upskilling. We have been listening to this upskilling, upskilling everywhere, whether it is in academics, whether it is in corporate. Let us try to understand it in simple words, what is upskilling. So it is the concept is nothing but improving your skills so that you, me, everybody, we can stay updated as well as competitive. As simple as that. Now, for UG and PG students, this means always you must be ready to learn new things so that you can keep up with the fast changing world. Say whether you are learning the latest software or you are mastering the research methods or just you are trying to sharpen your communication skills you are preparing to meet industry and academic expectations. Say, for example, let us say you are in your final year. You know your subject well. But adding a new programming language or learning project management can definitely make you stand out in the job market. What do you think? Right? That is upskilling. Now, let us also understand why do we need this concept? So the benefits of upskilling, they are huge. They are massive. It can increase your chances of getting hired and also it can improve even your research skills. <laughs> Suppose you are a research scholar. Learning new techniques or tools in your field will make you more stronger, right? Suppose you are in engineering, just an example. Maybe learning the advanced data analysis or programming, this is what can make your research more innovative. And it can also get you noticed maybe for publications or even grants, right? Then coming to adaptability. So adaptability means being ready to adjust when things change, whether it is in your career or whether it is in your academic path. It means... It's about always being willing to learn new things as industries or as the research evolves. For an example, think of how the field of healthcare has been transformed by technology. 
now those who are, who all picked up these skills maybe in telemedicine or in medical ai artificial intelligence early they are the ones who are leading the way right in that particular area now the same goes for academia research may be in fields like bioinformatics uh, quantum computing all these will be calling for flexibility in learning maybe outside your core subject whatever you have been learning you also have to be aware of these things okay then coming to industry alignment now to stay on top of industry trends as i already mentioned ai artificial intelligence robotics or even fintech you need to keep updating your knowledge now as ug and pg students you should choose your projects internships that will be matching all these trends as research scholars if you are research scholars you should be focusing on emerging fields in your domain right think which are the fields which that are in demand and try to focus more on that for example say you are studying finance maybe learning about fintech blockchain all this will be giving you an edge in the job market what do you say then similarly maybe for students who are studying electronics gaining the expertise may be in robotics or iot internet of things all this can make you sure right that you are staying aligned with all the technological advancements so now we all have understood that upskilling it is no longer just a buzzword or a catch phrase it is a necessity for students as well as for researchers alike as you all progress through your ug pg or even your research journey i request you that you please keep adding new skills to your toolkit means this ensures that you are not only competitive but you are also prepared to contribute meaningfully to whichever path you choose be it in academia industry or even entrepreneurship right hope we are clear so far then let us also try to understand the importance of upskilling in especially in ug and pg periods let me start with the ug phase this is something like we are building the foundation now during your ug years you are laying down the basics that will be helping you later on this is the time if you are doing pursuing your ug that you can start exploring different subjects and you can also figure out uh, what you are good at or what you are passionate about suppose let me give you an example let us say you are a journalism student here in your ug phase you would be learning the essentials maybe something like reporting storytelling digital media tools and so on then you will also pick up skills like researching interviewing using the multimedia platforms maybe to publish your content now these skills will help you no matter if you get into print media or digital media or even broadcast journalism journalism later on okay this is what is our ug phase next coming to pg phase why you have to upskill yourself in your pg phase this is something like specializing and also deepening your knowledge now once you are in pg it's time to really focus on the specific areas that will be interesting you now this is where you pick up those advanced skills for a specialized career or for your research suppose if you studied say uh, general pharmaceutical sciences maybe in your ug now you will move on uh, maybe to more specific areas in your pg something like drug formation formulation or the regulatory affairs see the ug phase will be giving you a broad understanding but the pg phase is where you become an expert right you are ready for careers maybe in this drug development or clinical research right because i was just trying to give you the pharmaceutical sciences example next is networking and mentorship now this is something that where you will be learning beyond the classroom now as you go through your pg and ug phases building the connections and finding mentors this will become super important 
now these relationships with your professionals with your professors or even with your peers can guide you in your career say for example you are an uh, maybe fine arts student now finding a mentor who is an artist or who is a curator can give you inside knowledge you can start going to galleries or art festivals that lets you network and also plus you can learn about the industry how to build a portfolio how to apply for residencies or even how to organize exhibitions is what you can learn here now this experience combined with your skills will give you a leg up when you are starting your career see no matter your field whether it is journalism those were just an examples whether it is journalism pharmaceutical sciences or even fine arts upskilling during your undergraduate and postgraduate right degrees will give you the tools so that you can confidently navigate your career and also you can succeed both personally as well as professionally right okay very important thing what are the skill gaps that are faced currently by our ug and pg students see whether you are an undergraduate a postgraduate or even say you are pursuing your phd each stage of this journey comes with its unique challenges its own challenges every period has it but please don't worry recognizing all these gaps is the first step towards addressing them so let us try to understand some of the key areas you might be struggling with and let us try to explore the ways how to upskill okay now let us start with what are the problems skill gaps faced by ug students the lack of real world application of knowledge <laughs> i totally agree as a ug student you might have a solid grasp of theories and I'm, i'm never saying no but when it comes to applying them in the real world we must understand it's a whole different ball game what is the solution here how to upskill ourselves the solution is to seek internships hands on projects and even you can work you can get the part time jobs in your field all these will be giving you the exposure that you need to bridge these gaps between the theory and practice right then limited industry exposure of course many of you may feel unsure about how actually the industry is working or what employers expect from you now to overcome this i have a simple solution attend the industry webinars conferences or expert talks something like this or try to make use of your university's placement cells so that you can connect with the professionals in your field right then communication challenges of course we all know that effective communication is key to success whether in academics or your career if you struggle in this area try to participate in debates public speaking clubs or try to take up those uh, uh, group projects so that you can practice articulating your thoughts and also please remember communication it is not just about speaking it is also about listening what others are telling to us right also presenting your ideas clearly okay then lack of <clears throat> excuse me networking opportunities if i tell you this word networking you might feel it might feel scary intimidating right but believe me it is vital for your career so now lack of networking opportunities how what is the solution try to attend career fairs try to attend linkedin networking events or alumni meetups so that you can better connect with your industry professionals and you can also have a conversation with other students now building a strong network will open doors you didn't know that even existed so just believe me your next opportunity might just be one conversation away so ju just don't be hesitant right and try to go get along this way then coming to pg students now 
what are your problems what are your skill gaps there is specialization but lack of interdisciplinary skills now what do i mean by this <clears throat> while you are developing expertise in your field you might lack flexibility in other areas today's world needs people who can collaborate across disciplines so i encourage you to take courses outside your comfort zone try to learn about adjacent fields or work with students from different domains maybe on uh, you can get collaborated on uh, joint projects what will happen this will be broadening your perspective and also it will enhance your problem solving skills i mean sure you, you most of you might be thinking i am all about chemistry what do i know about literature or say i am an engineer how to converse with a psychology student or even i am into finance what could i possibly learn from design see i am from management how many students here are only from my stream but trust me these kind of unexpected connections can spark the most creative ideas so these academic crossovers can lead to some uh, even game changing insights please try this then weak academic writing and research skills this one is tricky because it is often something we don't get enough direct guidance on right about the academic writing and the research skills now how to improve these skills by ourselves try to take writing workshops read those high quality academic papers in your field and also try to seek feedback from your mentors or peers about your work the more you practice the better you will become then even many of us find difficulty with the advanced tools whether it is a statistical software or a research platforms many pg students also struggle with mastering the advanced tools now why don't you enroll in those short term courses or online tutorials to gain proficiency in this because these tools are essential for deeper analysis research so invest the time to learn them well then limited conduct uh, connections with mentors in the industry see as a pg student you might uh, not always have that easy access to industry uh, professionals i agree that's true try to reach out the experts in your field maybe through linkedin right does it cost you anything no right try to attend industry specific workshops leverage your professors connections so that you can find mentors who can really guide you and if some are phd research scholars are present here for you most of these points are equally relevant especially the need for interdisciplinary skills and industry connections yeah but there is also one specific area i would like to address for you for phd scholars that is the transitioning from academia to industry say if you are considering a move outside of academia after your phd start preparing early this is my advice look into how your research can be applied in the industry and how to connect with professionals who can help guide this transition that is your transition from academia to industry now you will be bringing immense value to industry roles because you have that in depth knowledge and because of your research abilities but the thing is you may need to frame your expertise in terms of the business needs right now with the right approach you can tackle any of these gaps or if there are any other gaps that is bothering you and you can emerge stronger more prepared as well as more confident as you step into the next phase maybe of your academic life or even for your professional life yes we have something known as self assessment tools for skill development first question is why self assess now this is the first step in personal growth you have to do this i have to do this right by regularly evaluating your skills your strengths as well as your areas of improvement we do not call them as weaknesses 
but we recognize it as just the areas where you need improvement. Now, if you evaluate all these things, you become aware of where you stand and what you need to work on. So self-assessment will be fostering the self-awareness and also become aware, right? And also it is important for making proper decisions, informed decisions about your career as well as about your development paths. Next is SWOT analysis. Now, this is a simple strategic tool that helps you evaluate your strengths, weaknesses, opportunities and threats. That is what is SWOT, S-W-O-T. Now, strengths means in simple words, you try to understand what you excel at. What are your unique strengths? What are your capabilities? Then weaknesses, as I told you, the areas of improvement, the areas where you struggle or where actually you are lacking proficiency. We also need to know about this. Then what are opportunities, the external factors, or the resources, right, that can help you grow or advance in your career. Then coming to threats. These are the outside challenges, obstacles that could be impeding or obstructing your success. Now, this SWOT analysis tool, this helps you gain a holistic view of your current situation. What is happening with you? Where do you stand? After knowing this, you can plan your strategies so that you can make use of your strengths, utilize your strengths and address your weaknesses better. Okay. Then coming to skills audit. This is nothing but a thorough examination of your existing skills. Now, how do I do this examination? I will be thinking about my existing skills against those which are required for your desired goals. It's something like a checkup for your skills. Now you will be comparing the skills you already have with the ones you need for your career or maybe for your academic goals. Here by identifying the gaps, you can figure out where to focus, where to improve. Means this tool is helping you, the skill set or skills audit will be helping you to get closer to your goals much faster. Let us say, uh, maybe you want to become a software developer. Now, during your skills audit, you realize you are proficient in programming languages, maybe like Python, Java. But you also understand that you are struggling with uh, this version control systems, maybe something like JIT. Now, this means you should prioritize learning that particular JIT version control systems to improve your collaboration skills or maybe it will be working towards your overall effectiveness in the software development. That is what is this concept. Then setting smart goals. I guess most of you know about this. It is an effective way to ensure that your goals are smart. Smart means smart stands for specific, measurable, achievable, relevant and time bound. Those are setting your SMART goals. What do I mean by specific? Your goals are to be clearly defined and focused. Then measurable means what? It must be quantifiable. So then only you can track your progress. Achievable, that is realistic and also within your reach. Okay, then relevant means that is aligned with your broader objectives. Time bound. That is set within a specific time frame. Now, by setting smart goals, you can create actionable plans and these plans will be leading to meaningful skill, de skill development as well as your progress. Then we have something known as career aptitude tests. These are something like the assessments which are designed to evaluate your natural abilities to know what are your preferences, to know what are your interests. <laughs> now, these tests, they will help you understand which career paths may suit best with your strengths and with your personality. Now, taking these tests can guide you in making career choices 
that resonate with your inherent abilities as well as with your long term aspirations now you you can take these uh, career aptitude tests on various platforms we have something known as career explorer then we have map test m a p p motivational appraisal of personal potential m a p p this test and we also have career fitter this offers you both free as well as paid assessments then uh, you can check those job search sites like something like indeed glassdoor they also have integrated tools then many university career centers they will be providing you with the aptitude tests and you must all be aware of this uh, linkedin learning it focuses uh, more on professional skills assessments additionally we also have government websites something like my next move from us united states and we also have an initiative of our government of india ncs national uh, career service ncs now this will be offering free access to career tests so i request you please do some research on this and make a good use of these platforms for your upskilling as well as for your career development then regularly tracking your progress is essential so that you can stay uh, on course with your goals now this might involve maintaining maybe a journal or trying to set milestones even you can use we are you are all smart students so you can use those apps tools to monitor your achievements if you are tracking means uh it you can you can make sure you can ensure that you can adjust your approach wherever necessary and you can also celebrate those small wins along the way now while you are working on building your skills please don't forget to to take care of yourself i mean both mentally as well as physically see pushing yourself too hard without looking after your health can also lead to burnout so please make sure to mix in some fun activities something like mindfulness exercises uh, go ahead with workouts or uh, practice your hobbies means keeping a good balance will help you to grow without sacrificing your well being this is my point yeah then what are the platforms and resources that can be used for upskilling so i have just mentioned a few examples which are listed for your convenience and also considering our time constraints coming to online learning here learners can access a variety of online courses and programs coursera so this will be offering courses from top universities and organizations across different fields please go to the website and kindly check these then we have edx a similar platform to coursera and this will be providing access to high quality education from uh, uh, the institutions like harvard mit right please check this also then uh, linkedin learning as we already discussed about this uh, maybe a couple of times it mainly focuses on skills development in professional areas it also offers courses on software business creative skills what not so these platforms they are valuable for continuous learning it will be providing access to structured courses certifications and even sometimes they'll be offering degrees as well right what are we waiting for just go and check all these uh, platforms please skill development now this will be helping in hands on learning and practice for specific skills particularly i'll speak about the technical domains at first we have github this is a platform for sharing collaborating and even contributing to open source software projects means this will be enhancing coding and programming skills then we have kaggle uh, a community of uh, data scientists as well as ml enthusiasts machine learning so this will be providing the data sets as well as competitions so that you can improve your analytical as well as your technical skills 
then academic journals. These will be helping you in staying updated with the latest research and trends in your fields, specific fields. Now, reading as well as contributing to these journals can definitely sharpen your technical as well as your research-based skills. And this is ideal for those who are looking to improve your practical expertise as well as to stay updated with the current industry trends. Certifications, of course, they'll be providing you the formal recognition of skills in specific areas. We have MOOCs, uh, Massive Open Online Courses. Massive Open Online Courses. They are available to a large audience, often at a free or just at a minimal cost, low cost. And these are offered by universities and even companies. Please try that. Then industry certifications. They are the specialized certifications from leading tech companies. Say, for example, uh, AWS, Amazon Web Services. We have it from Google. Now, these certifications validate knowledge, maybe in areas like cloud computing, uh, data analysis, or even digital marketing. So, certifications help in gaining a competitive edge and also uh, proving expertise in a particular domain. Now, this can significantly enhance your job prospects. The networking or the career building platforms. As we already discussed, networking or collaboration is crucial for your career growth. Now, these platforms will allow professionals to expand their connections, learn from the peers, as well gain insights that can help in your skill development especially. How to overcome the upskilling challenges? Now, dealing with the challenges while upskilling it requires persistence and also strategic approach. Now, how to handle this? First one is time management. Try to schedule your learning time efficiently. How can we do that? Simple, by creating a structured timetable, when to do what, that will be balancing your coursework, your research activities, as well as your upskilling activities. Now, why don't you use the tools like calendar apps, planners, so that you can stay on track without feeling stressed or overwhelmed. Next thing is staying motivated. This is very, very important. So as UG or PG students, even research scholars, you need to keep your end goals in mind. Now, setting short-term objectives along the way, right? That can help maintain your focus as well as your enthusiasm. Then access to resources. So try to utilize affordable or free platforms. We have Google Scholar. We have Core, C-O-R-E, Connecting Repositories. Then we have Devo AJ, Directory of uh, Open Access Journals. Then we have uh, OATD, Open Access Theses and Dissertations. These are especially for academic papers, theses, as well as for journals, right? And for free instructional content, you have, uh, just to quote a few, you have Khan Academy and then now uh, you have OLI, Open Learning Initiative. Open Learning Initiative, these will be offering the self-paced courses. So you can learn uh, 24 bar 7, they will be open, the courses will be open. Whenever you are free, you can make use of these courses. Then we also have something known as Future Learn, that is for collaborative online courses from universities. And there is also something known as academic art. Here, free video courses from top universities are available. Right? They provide the university level content also. Then we also have many tools like uh, Skillshare, especially for students that are uh, discounted creative courses. You can even make use of this. Then we have something known as a scholars hub the resources and networking 
especially for the academic scholars. All this will be supporting your learning. And then we also have apps, something like My Study Life. My Study Life. This is a planner for your schedules as well as for your assignments. Now, why did I quote about all these platforms? These platforms offer quality resources without straining your budget, right? They are cost effective. And that is the most important thing, especially when you are not still earning, right? Then building a support network. Try to rely on your peers, your mentors, as well as the industry professionals, especially to stay motivated, as well as to have some guidance from them. Why don't you join those study groups? Try to attend webinars or even try to connect with communities, maybe on platforms like you have, uh, you can join those Facebook groups, professional Facebook groups. Uh, you can go ahead with Slack communities. There is something known as Discord, Meetup, ResearchGate. All this helps you to stay engaged as well as supported in your learning process. Right. Now, to conclude, I would like to say, as you navigate your UG and PG periods, please remember that upskilling is a continuous journey. Right? And that will be enhancing both your academic as well as your professional capabilities. Now, by overcoming the challenges as whatever we discussed, also leveraging all the available resources, apart from the resources I told you, there are n number of platforms. Right? So, you can build a solid foundation for your future success. So, please embrace this opportunity so that you can grow, you can connect, as well as you can prepare for the evolving demands of your field. Right? Yes. Now, I would like to open the floor for any questions or discussions. Uh, Dr. Arjun, sir? Yes. So, first of all, I would like to thank... Thank you, Professor Dr. S. Sriranjani, Madam, for a very insightful talk under the aegis of Vedan Talks. Uh, we have sent you the selected questions on your email. You may check that and you can uh, uh, address those questions. Sure, sir. Participants are requested to refresh the page to get the form. Through that form, by filling the form, you will be eligible to get e-certificate of participation. Those participants who are presently and actively participating in this webinar, they are requested to refresh their page so they can get a form. After filling that form, you would be eligible to get the certificate. You will receive the e-certificate by email within seven days. It is really heartening to learn that thousands of UG and PG students have joined us today in this event. It shows that we are really going on a very right way. Within 23 years, with the efforts of this young minds, we would certainly achieve the goal of Vixit Bharat, a developed nation. In this series, Vedant is going to bring the experts from various premier institutions and variety of fields addressing various issues touching to the heart and minds of youth of India. Uh, sir, shall I take up the first question? Yeah, yeah please, madam. Yes. So what are the most in-demand skills for UG and PG students in the current job market and how can we prioritize learning them? Okay. So in the current job market, both undergraduate and postgraduate students, they are expected to possess, as I already told you, a mix of technical, analytical, as well as interpersonal skills, or you can call them as soft skills. Now, let me tell you which are the most, a few uh, in-demand skills and how to prioritize learning them. First thing I would like to quote is digital literacy. Now, under this, 
there are the in demand skills are something like data analysis programming something like python r and uh, industry is also giving importance to cyber security cloud computing ai artificial intelligence ml machine learning then digital marketing now uh, i have also got a question how to prioritize this now to prioritize digital literacy try to incorporate digital tools into your coursework try to take online courses certifications or workshops may be on these trending technologies you can visit there are n number of sites say for example coursera there is udemy now there and also the internships in tech focused roles also will be helping you to build hands on experience then the next in demand skill i would like to quote is problem solving and critical thinking now what you can do is you can engage in case study competitions you can participate in the hackathons or even you can join those debate clubs because solving real world problems through academic projects becomes beneficial to you especially in this period then the next in demand uh, skill is uh, communication and collaboration so verbal written communication as well as teamwork plus the, that uh, cross cultural collaboration leadership all this has lots of weightage now you can also take part in group projects why don't you join those uh, public speaking clubs or even those uh, writing workshops so you can even try to seek on your own those leadership roles in your student organizations or even you can take those uh, volunteer initiatives then i i would also like to quote eq emotional intelligence under this you must be self aware you must know what empathy means uh, there is importance for conflict resolution adaptability okay then the next uh, in demand skill is project management under this you must take care of time management uh, resource planning task delegation risk management okay then apart from this i already told you about adaptability then there must be a lifelong learning right then uh, cultural competence is what i already told you plus i would also like to tell about sustainability and ethical awareness means knowledge of environmental impact then the concept of csr corporate social responsibility as well as uh, ethical decision making right uh, let me just check the next question how important is it to balance academic studies with skill development during ug or pg period and what are uh, some effective strategies to manage both yes balancing academic studies with skill development especially during ug and pg program it is crucial especially for your uh, long term career success see academic knowledge as we all know it lays the foundation for understanding those theoretical concepts while this skill development this is what will be equipping the students with practical abilities and this is what is needed in our today's job market now employers they are now seeking the candidates who possess both strong academic credentials as well as those relevant skills that's why it is very necessary that we make this balance essential okay yes let me check the next question how can universities collaborate with the industry partners to provide practical and relevant upskilling programs that align with current job markets or needs market needs see universities can collaborate with industry partners so as to offer practical as well as relevant upskilling programs how means by creating a dynamic 
and a mutually beneficial ecosystem where they it will be bridging the gap between academic learning as well as the real job market demands now there are a uh, n number of strategies which can be followed first thing i would like to say is you can co develop right the industry relevant curriculum then uh, you can go ahead with those specialized certification programs as i told you those industry driven certifications or even with that uh, micro credentials then internships uh, apprenticeships also will be helping you universities they can collaborate with companies which will be providing the students with internship opportunities here students can apply the theoretical knowledge especially in a real world environment then also uh, industry partners uh, they can even offer the student internships right where they'll be working on the project based internships means they'll be working on specific company projects here students they get an opportunity to solve real world problems in the same time what is happening they will be gaining those relevant skills here what is happening is the students will this will be improving the employability of the students plus the it will also be giving uh, on hands the access maybe to the fresh talent and uh, ideas you in turn as students you can give it to the company and then apart from this you can attend those guest lectures workshops master classes all these many of these sessions are free of uh, cost so you can even uh, go ahead with this then uh, as i told you the joint research or innovation hubs will be helping you even uh, those uh, <clears throat> you can establish these uh, innovation hubs or incubators in partnership with the industry here what st students will be doing you can work on entrepreneurial projects so that here you will be finding those industry mentors whatever i mentioned plus you you might also receive those funding resources whatever you need apart from this you can as i already told you uh, you can um, attend those career fairs right on campus career fairs i am sure most of the universities they'll be doing this then apart from this what else uh, cross disciplinary projects you can also take up so industry partners can help design those capstone projects we call them as skill development through capstone projects here students from multiple disciplines you will be working together right suppose there are business students you will be collaborating with in engineering students so that uh, you both will be creating a new project what is this approach it is all about cross functional nature of the modern workplace right then something like upskilling reskilling programs something like this especially for graduates would be also working out uh, let me check with the next question what role does upskilling play in enhancing employability for recent graduates and how it can help bridge the gap between academic knowledge and job requirements as i already told you upskilling plays a very vital role in enhancing employability uh, for recent uh, graduates by equipping them with the practical industry relevant skills which are needed to meet those job market demands also academic knowledge it will be providing you with a theoretical foundation here upskilling is what will help you to bridge the gap between what is taught in your universities and also what are the evolving requirements of the employers right now already i spoke about alignment with industry trends you must be keeping up with the uh, market demands right we should also be aware of what are the emerging skills then you must be filling these skill gaps and in the meanwhile if we bridge these gaps you will be improving your job ready skills then apart from this it would be also helping you to enhance your practical experience again the same concepts will come in here also adaptability lifelong learning then uh, uh, promoting you for the uh industry specific expertise specializations all these things so that you can close that technological knowledge gap 
plus it will also be helping you for the for the faster career progression okay yeah next question what are the benefits of upskilling programs for students and how do they contribute to personal and professional growth during the ug and pg years so as i already mentioned upskilling programs it will be providing numerous benefits for students both personally as well as professionally right one thing it will be enhancing your employability second thing you can have the practical application of whatever academic knowledge you will be gaining inside the class with all these things you can also witness your personal growth your confidence will increase right as students you will be mastering new skills you gain confidence about your own abilities and you also know uh, because you know how to tackle those real world challenges right so this confidence it will be translating into your stronger performance maybe in your interviews or uh, uh, when you take up internships or even when you are trying to give those class presentations right then uh, development of uh, soft skills it is important then uh, try expanding your uh, professional networks this is what will be helping you with a better uh, career clarity as well as with a proper focus okay well, let me check the next question what are some of the best courses or training programs that can help upgrade skills during ug or pg period uh, maybe data science and analytics because data driven decision making it is very very important across various industries and uh, this is what is making data science analytics the skill has become highly valuable nowadays now popular courses on this could be uh, uh, the google data analytics professional certification you can find it from coursera this will be focusing on uh, data cleaning analysis visualization you can use those uh, tools like uh, uh, tableau S uh, sql all these things then uh, we have digital marketing uh, the popular courses on this again you can check on coursera then uh, uh, facebook blueprint this will be offering uh, certifications in various areas it could be digital advertising uh, media buying campaign management all these things then uh, uh, programming and software development because coding and software development they are the key skills uh, for various tech roles and they are especially useful across many industries okay uh, you can check for this edx by harvard university it will be providing you a comprehensive introduction especially about programming languages like c uh, python sql and much more then project management skills are also crucial especially for overseeing the projects and teams in almost any industry this is of much use uh, for this you can do a uh, certified associate in uh, project management cfpm please go and check this this is the entry level certification for project management and it will be offering you a, a deep understanding of the pm uh, project management principles then what else ai ml i already told you about this so coursera will be offering you uh, udemy they will be offering you machine learning ai deep learning specializations all these things then your soft uh, soft skills development for this also you can check the same uh, uh, sites you will get a uh, understanding or you can do th the courses there let me check the next question How can internships, research projects, 
and the real world experiences be used effectively to enhance skill development and employability during ug or pg so internships research projects real world experiences they are the crucial tools especially for enhancing skill development as well as for the uh, employability during your uh, ug or pg studies they will be providing you with the uh, hands on learning opportunities and they will be bridging the gap between your academic knowledge as well as your uh, industry uh, requirements right through internships uh, it helps you to gain practical experience you can build on your uh, industry specific skills you have the opportunity to uh, network with your industry professionals plus this will be giving a boost to your resume and you become job ready right then uh, try to concentrate on research projects the real world experiences whatever you get <coughs> capstone projects as already i told you uh, you can uh, go ahead with uh, competitions you can uh, participate in hackathons all these things would be helping you then one more thing i would like to specify here there are a few strategies how you will be managing your internships your research as well as your uh, real world experiences time management already i told you then go ahead with selective engagement what do i mean by this you will be choosing the experiences that will be aligning with your long term career goals instead of taking every opportunity that comes on your way please try to focus on internships or research or the projects that provides valuable skills as well as a relevant experience to you and seeking a mentorship is no sin then try, try to leverage your university resources and please always stay open to learning i'll just check the next question what are the skills that graduates need to stay competitive in the modern job market and how can these be developed during their academic years uh, already i guess we discussed this question but again to mention uh to stay competitive in the modern job market graduates need to develop a mix of technical skills uh, soft skills as well as your transferable skills now under technical skills there are industry you need to gain industry specific uh, knowledge you need to have proficiency in domain specific technical knowledge as i told you maybe the programming languages for it data analysis for business or say the lab techniques for science i spoke about uh, digital literacy then uh, data analysis and interpretation right now how do you be developing this maybe through coursework certifications or taking your uh, uh, projects and applying you will be having that hands on problem solving as well as technical application of the same things then try to have that adaptability and flexibility uh, i would like to again mention about uh, problem solving and critical thinking communication skills collaboration team work time management organization uh, taking up those initiatives leadership uh, re resilience stress management all these are very very important right okay how can interdisciplinary collaborations and project based learning during the ug pg period uh, help in holistic skill development and better prepare students for future careers so in your interdisciplinary collaborations and project based learning especially during your ug and pg studies it will be providing all the students with a holistic skill set and that is actually highly beneficial for your future careers how do they contribute first thing is real world problem solving if you work on those interdisciplinary projects it will be encouraging you to tackle with the real world problems and because these real world problems it is not on any one particular field it will be spanning across multiple multiple fields then uh, collaboration and communication so students from different backgrounds you will be bringing different perspectives and also collaborating with peers maybe from various disciplines this will be enhancing your communication skills 
your teamwork skills and all these are very very crucial in this modern workplaces and we call these workplaces as cross functional workplaces where we see people uh, who are working from different backgrounds are present then uh, critical thinking innovation it will be definitely uh, the exposure to different fields it will be encouraging students to to think critically as well as you will be given an opportunity uh, uh, to uh, give something towards innovation right because you will be integrating that knowledge from various disciplines then you will be gaining that hands on experience there will be definitely uh, industry alignment because uh, uh, by working on those interdisciplinary projects it will be mirroring those industry trends such as maybe uh, ai applications in finance or having those uh, sustainable energy solutions students you will be gaining insights into especially current as well as the future industry needs so in addition to this uh, technical expertise uh, students you can develop your soft skills as i already mentioned like time management adaptability problem solving and all these qualities uh, the employers will be highly valuing across industry this is how the holistic development will take place how can alumni we have sir we have just a last question yes uh, how can alumni networks and the mentorship programs support ongoing professional development and upskilling for students transitioning from ug or pg to the workforce okay alumni networks and mentorship programs they play a very very significant role in supporting the students because you will be you will be having the transition from your ug or pg studies especially to the workforce now this will be alumni networks or mentorship programs it will be helping you with professional development as well as with upskilling how they will be providing alumni who have successfully navigated this transition already from academia to industry they will be providing guidance on your career pathways and through the men mentorship programs they can offer you one on one personalized advice how to choose your career path what about your future education what about the certifications based on your goals you can have a definitely guidance from them what works for you what worked for them your alumni and what did what did not work everything you can know apart from this you can have alumni networks they are a, you can call them as a gateway to a wide range of professional contacts across industries because already they are working then you can also have access to those that uh, <laughs> hidden job markets see because why do i say this many job opportunities they are never publicly advertised at all instead what will happen inside the corporates they will be sharing this within their professional network only so alumni they can often have that insider knowledge about these openings in their companies or in their industries and they can provide you that particular early access to these hidden job markets right so you'll be having a competitive edge in securing um uh, your first roles especially after your graduation then alumni mentors can also help you identify that specific skills uh, that are required in a uh, chosen field of yours okay then uh, uh, mentors can also offer you some sort of practical support maybe through mock interviews resume reviews that also they can do and they will also be providing you the feedback okay so this will be helping Uh, the students they can present themselves more effectively to their potential employers and in the meantime you will also be i'm very sure you'll be feeling confident during your recruitment process then uh, what else alumni networks they're not just for recent graduates they'll also support the ongoing uh, professional development also they can and uh, alumni can share information not only about industry about the workshops the online courses certifications which will be helping the students to continue their learning as well as upskilling even after they enter the workforce right then they can also tell you the mentorship uh, also helps you uh, to navigate the challenges <coughs> whatever is happening in the workplace right apart from this what else 
maybe the for the students who are aspiring to get into those leadership roles or to become entrepreneurs alumni mentors can provide you that inspiration they can provide you that uh, practical advice how to build a successful career or how to build a successful business right through their own experiences they can offer you guidance on the mindset on the skills the strategies which are needed to succeed in maybe in leadership or in your entrepreneurial ventures uh, sir yes i hope i have answered all the questions yes all the questions are answered by you this is this is really a great uh, learning experience for all of us thank you thank you professor dr sir ranjani madam for a very insightful talk under the aegis of vedant talk i suppose more than 1500 participants have learned from you and they would be upskilling for their betterment the team vedant showcases deep sense of gratitude towards your contributions in terms of your time and meaningful talk thank you madam for addressing the questions raised by our participants in a nutshell manner you have touched almost all the aspects of the topic and questions and a very uh, practical advice is solutions are answered in the q and a session participants you will be issued certificate once you fill up the form given on this live page you can refresh your page to avail the form on your screen it would be available for 1 hour kindly fill the form by filling the form you would be eligible to get e certificate on your email within a week team vedan thank all participants for the all well overwhelming response and we showcase deep sense of gratitude towards our expert for joining vedan talk empowering youth for viksit bharat mission this viksit bharat mission taken up by vedan college systems private limited uh, is is held by you all by participating by being with us today and taking home a uh, very beautiful advices and very meaningful learnings wish you all great time thank you thank you namaste good night to all thank you uh, dear participants uh, thank you all for your time and uh, active engagement today and my heartfelt gratitude to the organizers of uh, vedant knowledge systems private limited for providing this uh, platform and my special regards to dr arjun dave sir for this esteemed opportunity thank you all once again thank you thank you for being with us thank you good thank night. you sir thank you good night sir may i leave the session yeah please thank you